Dear students, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. In this video, we will discuss about the fully funded Joint Japan World Bank Graduate Scholarship for the session 2024 and 2025. This is a study for master's program. You can study in USA, Europe, Africa, Oceania and Japan. These five countries are top to study as they are preferred by the international students to study there. We will show you the full process for this Joint Japan World Bank Scholarship. Before that, let me remind you to subscribe our YouTube channel for scholarships and do follow us on Instagram page as well. The link for this uh, fully funded Joint Japan World Bank Scholarship is given in the YouTube video description below. Check out the links there or in the about section of the YouTube links are also given there. Also, you can check out the link in the Instagram bio here and you can also scan the QR code on the Instagram posts or you can directly message us here and we will send you the link there. Or you can also directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmillook.com and once you visit our website, you can check this information here. So here are the basic three points about a scholarship on this flashcard here. The host countries that you can study is USA, Europe, Africa, Oceania and Japan and that too the top universities are participating in this. Then it's for the masters who will fund your program World Bank and then it's open to all the developing countries. Then we will have the more information about this. You can check the benefits. You will get also the flights, tuition fee, medical insurance, monthly stipend and other expenses for the other countries. Then eligibility criteria, basic eligibility criteria to apply for masters, you should have a bachelor's degree and high school degree. Then how to apply? Simply scroll down at the end, you can see visit here to apply. So follow our steps, click on this visit here to apply. Once you click on that, you can see the new website that is the official World Bank website has opened and the World Bank scholarship program is there. And you can check Joint Japan World Bank graduate scholarship program the window, first window and second window both will open and right now the application window 1 is opened from January 15th to February 29th. Today is 23rd of uh, January. It just opened this week. So you can apply here. So you have to click on this application window 1 or you can click on any of the links or on the right hand side there are also window 1 and window 2. So suppose to apply right now this deadline is going on. You can click on window 1. So click on window 1. After you click on that, you can check in the window one, Johns Hopkins and the University of Birmingham, University of California, University of Wisconsin, Madison. These universities are right now open to apply in the window, window one. And in window two, you can see Australian National University, Erasmus Rotterdam University, Harvard University, that too, Canada School of Government. IIT Dell University, Keio University, London School of Economics, National Graduate Institute, and Statman University, SOAS University, London, Stanford University. And we have an update for Stanford University that you don't need SAT scores right now. They have waived off the SAT scores. Even the test scores for the languages are also waived off. You can check the official Stanford website or Stanford Instagram page. They posted there also. We had posted in the story yesterday that they have waived off the uh, SAT scores and other that test requirements. All the tests are waived off in the Stanford University. So this is the best opportunity to get scholarship and study the USA that too in the Stanford University, the top ranked university. Then you can check other universities like Hong Kong, Leeds, Oxford, Sussex and the Tokyo, Scuba and Yokohama. All the top 16 universities are participating in the second window. So right now window one is open. You should not miss the window one and here you can see window one is open. So the, this deadline is there. So let's fill the uh, any of the sample application any of this. Suppose you wish to go for the California USA. So suppose you can see there is a course masters of development practice. So in order to fill this university application, you have to click on that link here. So suppose I'll click on that link here and you can see Berkeley policy public uh, Public policy school is there and you can see all the process are there. On the left hand side you can see apply to the MDP. So click on apply to the MDP and you can see click here to access the online application to fill the application. And click on this. 
so you can see steps to apply who is eligible and all the scroll down a little bit here you can see you see Berkeley graduate application so click on this and once you click on that it will take you actually to the sign up page there is no option to log out I already have logged in so once you are here you have to just sign up once you sign up this type of verification email with the account pin will be sent to your email so once you uh, verify the pin once you verify your account with this pin or you will receive in the email you will have to reset the password once you reset the password this type of dashboard will be in front of you once you log in so simply you have to click on start new application and graduate 2024 so click on create application here and once you start you can see open application and now you can see greetings from the dean and you can click on continue so you have to complete all the sections here so application <coughs> instructions are there so you have to choose the term i'll go with the fall 2024 and select the program so for program you have to select here the masters of development practice so you have to keep in that mind masters of development practice <clears throat> so you have to find that MDP suppose <clears throat> I'll go with the any other course that course is also here only you have to do is look carefully you have to do, look carefully for that course here and sometimes university deadlines expire earlier than the scholarship deadlines because some universities have different deadlines as i can see on that here i'll go back one step and you can see the deadline for the mdp was uh, 2020 december 4 2023 so let me check other university but in this other cases similarly you have to choose this suppose you will go with any other master's program suppose i'll go with the master's of steep learning select that and then you can see application deadline is this and you can click on continue it somehow shows the previous deadline but for the fall term it should not show that so you can see application is still being accepted here so similarly you have to fill all the information let me check any current so suppose we'll go with this uh, University of uh, Birmingham so let me click on this and check the deadline for that course so accept the terms and conditions so click on apply now you can see how to apply so 7th May is the application deadline so here you can see you have an application deadline 7th May so we can apply here so click on apply now at the end of this session you can see there's an apply now button so you have to click on that and it will open the here you can see ms conflict that is listed here security and development security and so both full time and part time we'll go with the full time click on apply now and then here you can see username or first time so if you're for the first time here you have to sign in as i am a new user so i click on new user and just register here so start with the title and given name then the surname and the gender then date of birth choose as per the passport and you should not make any mistakes here then email address and then confirm And let me choose a password so you can see i have mentioned the password and signed up in the meantime i have received an email here you can see uh, if you did not you can complete application by logging into this your username and password i have set up so now you can see start application so click on start application now you have to complete all the checklist here your name your date of birth and your gender your country of birth choose from the passport that you have 
and then after that country of the permit residence so choose from the passport and then uh, have you previously applied to this so we can say no and yes accordingly if you have then click on save once you do that you can check there is some issue so nationality same now i can click on save and it's done after that click on the additional personal information if you have any of the issues no disability ethnicity so you can say asian then what's your religion and is your gender same yes so you can say true and then uh, do you have any dependents so no dependents do you have carrying responsibilities no i do not have and then you can click on save and then click on contact details and enter the address and city then zip and then the country where you are mentioning the address actually and telephone number suppose this is the telephone number and then click on save so you have to choose have you or oh, are you applying via university of Birmingham courses so no do you want to add a correspondence address so no i do not want then click on save you can see contact details done click on education information and add your suppose we are applying for a master so we should have a bachelor degree obviously then choose the country of the country where you have academic qualification one so you can add multiple qualifications if you have i'll just submit a basic so i'll say suppose i'll say this the university of delhi select the qualification so i'll say social sciences select the subject suppose i say that uh, relevant suppose i say language studies and attended from which year you completed that attended from this to gen 2022 full time completed yes and the cgpa date of completion and then upload the transcript or the certificate here <clears throat> and after that you can see the upload is being performed and now it will refresh once and the data will be saved automatically so you can see so what was the first language so it was english you can add as well as save and continue after that the professional work experiences if you have just upload the cv and if you have work experience you can upload that as well I will be previously employed or not you can otherwise you can click on save and continue so personal statements like the yes so upload the document personal statement is very important for this application if you want us to write your personal statement you can just order from our website or you can just message us on instagram or leave down the comment below and do you require a visa to study yes obviously and where do you intend to apply for the user so i'll say my country then you can upload the passport number and other details have you previously stayed at uk so no so you can save and continue then the ref please do you have reference to upload so you can say yes if you have a reference letter upload that and it will upload after that you have to select the type of reference and the title so let me change that here you can see type of reference academic title you can say doctor sir sir his name 
is a professor in institution university email full scholarships extra gmail we said t email email and then country say india and we can click on save and continue so now referees are done additional information so upload the documents any additional information document suppose I have a degree in any other subject as well any achievements you can submit that and then click on save and continue here is funding so please select the primary type of funding sponsorship or external scholarship so suppose you uh, like overseas government or employer funding you know supreme advertised scholarship or you can say uh, here you can say external scholarship then have you has the funding already been obtained so you can say no and then if you intend to which intent so you can say joint japan world bank scholarship then save and continue after that you can say submission but in professional work experiences there is uh, no tick since have you currently been employed so we can say no and click on save and continue so it's done now you can click on submissions here and you can say all the done click on tick this tick this click on submit and you can see that the documents are here everything is here now it should submit as the application so here you can see confirmation application form submitted thank you and your application has been received and the course title academic year Click here to access the portal for submitted applications. We can click here and also other information is there. We have also received an email regarding that. So here you can check uh, email ID that we have received in. So here we have to log in if we want access. So let me log in once. So click on login. Here you can see successfully logged in. It will redirect to the dashboard where we have filled in the application so you can see applications filled in all the details are there so once you receive the results in that application uh, you will have the details about the scholarships and then you have to follow that steps as well and till then keep watching our videos do subscribe and share this video with your friends who wish to study in any of the countries listed here in the top five countries and if you want us, if you need help on any other steps before messaging us, do remember to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and YouTube as well. Keep watching. Have a nice day ahead.